Wheat provides more calories for people than any other plant, for instance, in bread. As for chocolate, it's been said that 9 out of 10 people like it, and the 10th person always lies. But pests also like these food crops. A recently discovered bacterial gene editing system called CRISPR might keep them at bay. Bacteria use CRISPR to snip out viral infections in their DNA at the Innovative Genomics Institute in Berkeley, California. Managing Director Susan Jenkins says scientists are using CRISPR to snip plant DNA. So what CRISPR is going to allow is for us to go in, make these changes, and then in, within one generation of the plant actually have the trait we want incorporated. These petri dishes contain wheat cultures that resist a fungal rust that can reduce yields by nearly 50 percent. Scientists created the rust resistance by using CRISPR to snip out a gene that made the wheat vulnerable. So in this case we use CRISPR to actually knock out a gene that's in the wheat. The Institute is also using CRISPR to help cacao trees fight the deadly swollen shoot virus. If the bacteria have already evolved this to fight the viral infection, we're just going to take that mechanism and put it directly into the plant. They plan to start growing cacao trees resistant to swollen shoot virus within a year. That is fast, according to Institute Science Director Brian Staskowitz. And what this technology can do is it can allow us to work with the elite cultivars of a plant and to basically change them either for drought resistance or maybe cold tolerance and disease resistance in a more rapid fashion than just classical plant breeding. They need speed, Staskowitz says, because we are in a race. You know, we're currently 7.9 billion people on the earth. By 2050, there's going to be 9 billion. And the estimates are that we actually need to increase food production by 70 percent. So we're going to need a way to actually increase the yield of these plants to feed the population of the world. Chocolatier Eli Curtis suspects we could also increase cocoa yields by helping farmers be better stewards of wild cacao trees. But if CRISPR leads to more pest-resistant crops. Definitely um, understand the value and I also understand specifically consumers' uh, apprehension. Consumer taste will have to wait until after the science tests and the field tests and the regulatory review. But if all these succeed, within a decade, crisper crops might be ingredients in many things, including bread and chocolate. For VOA News, I'm Shelley Schlender in Berkeley, California.